Justice. After you. There it is. Here's what you'll see in my way. See those people? They just saw this next to my house. So, you, viewer, who, you see the cross cabriolet and you're like, come on, like, that's a cool car. It's a cool car, you're out of touch. Uh, something's happened, either you've been um, just away from culture too long, or something, but you're fucked, man. Oh my god, the trim's coming off. I know, that's what I said earlier. What year is this? 2011. Okay, I guess it's been long enough. No, it hasn't been long enough for the trim to be coming off. But, oh wait! The trim's been exposed to the elements! Because you took the roof off your crossover, dude! You know, this is the last obstacle before we had a perfect market. Before the auto industry had really nailed it. We thought everything was fine. And then Nissan was like, hey, what if we swap the roof off the auto? This is a good idea! Here's the thing, alright? Crossovers are already a scam. If this is news to you, go read or something. I mean, I hey, crossovers are a fucking scam. If you really wanted a family car, you would have bought in a Crown Victoria a long time ago. Or just a sedan. Or an estate. If you needed more room, you would have bought an estate. That's it. Was that another one? I don't know. Okay, that one had a roof. You can't stop smiling because it's so fucking goofy. Like, the, the only... You, your ego dies in here. Like, you are just suffering from embarrassment. And it's hilarious to me. It's just like, hey, look at my fucking stupid car. Turn your nose up and laugh. That's it. Look at what a fucking dork I am. Not even like, you know, like a like a funny dork, but like, wow, that's really lame. I don't want a middle management job at 3M. But you do want a Murano across Cabriolet, don't you? I gotta look nice on the weekends. I don't. I Damn. bought a C4 Corvette. I bought a C4 Corvette. 2002, 119,000 miles. You're gonna fucking die. I died a long time ago. This is Tim's car. Tennis enthusiasts. Little chin tuck. Chin tuck. There's some silicon in your body. People who drive this, they've still got the default wallpaper on their iPhone and they don't use fucking folders. So they've got like 80 home screens and they're all free versions of really terrible sports apps. But uh, it's Saturday night, midnight, we're going downtown. I think I'm gonna claim that I'm from Consumer Reports. Oh, well, you know, it's best all around drivers, best all around drivers. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, I just, I couldn't see uh, myself getting anything else. Do you know, you have any idea of the sacrifice that we're making? Look at us. Do you see us? Uh, yeah, uh, do you see this? I'm in public in a Murano cross cabriolet. Do you see what we do for you? Do it for you. I'm actually suffering right now. My allergies are so bad that I'm almost in tears. I can't feel my eyes sneezing, and it's all because of this car. And we're about to go where both of us know we will suffer, which is right outside uh, Roxy's or Harpo's in good old Columbia, Missouri on a Saturday night. Here's the issue. I've never been in a regular Verona before, but everything I see is competent. This is for the crossover segment, for mid-30s, for the family vehicle, and even, I mean, I think that uh, we can imagine a black Murano being aesthetically pleasing, right? But there's no roof. It's not even like just being seen in the car. It's like the way that you sit in a car because you're sitting in a crossover. So convertibles, they take into account. You see someone sitting in a Miata, they look less ridiculous because with this like just, it's a fucking crossover. It's got crossover doors. What have you done, mom? <laughs> mom, I've got asthma. Please put the fucking roof up. Yeah, I'm enjoying the sunshine. Mom, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna asphyxiate. Mommy, I'm asphyxiating. That's what's gonna happen. In public, don't even want no secret sex. Cash only, bitch, you fight if you try to give me. Now, we don't look good. That's right. If you don't look good, I don't look good. Bitch, you better pray me. Ah! If you don't look good, I don't look good. Now, we don't look good. That's right. If you don't look good, I don't look good. Oh my god! Oh my god! No! <laughs> don't draw it. Don't draw any more attention to us. That is already going to occur. It couldn't get any worse. I, I'm, so, I'm just telling you that right now. It doesn't get any worse than this. 
we don't look good. We don't. Would you like to burn alive as much as I would right now? These people are seeing me in this. What if someone? What if someone's like, "Hey, that's David." I believe that young woman just said, what the fuck is that? That young woman is smarter than everyone else that I've seen today because that is the proper reaction. What the fuck is that? They're seeing me. These people are going to see me. I'm not sure if I can think of a single more effective way to ruin your image. This is like when the Top Gear 3 went to Chernobyl and they actually absorb radiation. But instead, it's, it's our egos and our reputations. In this place, it's two types of suffering. One, you're like, oh my god, I'm in this. Two, there are people that are like, oh, that's really cool. And they're like, I'm surrounded by shellless beings, surrounded by shellless, ignorant, just tacky ass, cretins, filth, oh my god, oh my, oh my god, what have you done? If Honk had a cool wall, you know, on uh, Top Gear they have a separate box for the Aston Martin, well there'd be a box on the other end and be a safe, and that's where the picture of this would be locked in. You know, this is going to be classified as soliciting, and look what we're soliciting. Can I have it? No. Oh. You see that man right there? If you know that guy, don't ever talk to him again. Now, you have three choices here. You got this. You got this. And you got that. This poor man with the long hair. He's going to have to sit here and look at this. Look, he's sitting alone, all right? He's sitting alone in a bar. I know if I was him, I would move. I, I, like, I had to move tables. Like, I, hey, guys, really quick. You don't have to stop walking. What do you think of that? What do you think? Of this? Yeah. Nice. First word. Nice. You're wrong. I think I'm going to have to start separating myself and make it clear that I don't own this car. Don't be nice, okay? You don't have to be nice. This is not my car. Do you want to hurt this? You can have one kick. You can kick me. Hey, uh, gentlemen. What do you think of that? Think of what? That's not a See, you were smart. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, if you put me famous, I'm Justin Blakemore, by the way. That was Justin. How do you feel about that, folks? Justin has better taste than you do. That fucking junk ass car. Excuse me, folks. Hey, do you have a second? No, we don't. That car, one word. Uh, what do you think? Overpriced. He knows, and he doesn't even know the price. <laughs> he just looks at that and he's like, it's overpriced, because I bet you have to pay for it. Yeah. It's not given to you. Is that car for sale? Yeah, I then it's overpriced. <laughs> <laughs> Is that car for sale? I hope.